Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Welcome to 12 Minutes of Meditation with Dr. Cheese. Our focus today is weariness, go. Weariness, go. Weariness, go. You must get out. You spirit to make one feel tired. I command you to go. In the name of Jesus, you spirit that would cause individuals to not to sleep at night. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You must obey. Go, 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 go. You spirit of weariness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, go. In the name of Jesus, you spirit to exhaust the strength of a man. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You spirit that come to make a man weak. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You must vacate. You must get out. Oh, Rande, bo, 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 bo. I bind you in the name of Jesus and I command you to go, get out and go, go, go. You can no longer stay. The peace of the Lord shall be our strength. The joy of the Lord shall be our strength. The name of Jesus shall be our strength. I command the spirit of weariness, go! In the name of Jesus, you spirit that would wear me down, would come through the coronavirus that come through the TV of information, false information. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You spirit of weariness that come to make me take a step back in the gospel. I command you to go in the name of Jesus. You come to tie me down, to wear me down. You spirit, exhaustive spirit would come Through the spirit of weariness, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. That spirit that would cause me to want to fail. To make me think that I'm a failure. I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus. You spirit of weariness. Go, 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 go. You spirit that would make us think about our loved ones being captured by the coronavirus. I command that spirit to go, that spirit of fear that comes to bring torments, to wear us down, to get us to be weary. I command that spirit to go in the name of Jesus, that fatigue spirit, that tiring spirit. I command you to go in the name of Jesus, that spirit that come to bring pressure on the body. I command it to go. In the name of Jesus, you must go, you must go, you must go, you must go, you lying spirit. I have called you. I have need of you. God is the one that's called you. He has need of you. So don't worry. Don't be weary in this hour. Don't be impatient in this hour. That's right, you, you, you that are listening. Don't give up. Don't give in. Be patient. You will reap a harvest in me, in God. You will reap a harvest. So be 
not weary in this hour. I will guide you. I will help you. So don't be weary in this hour of what you see and what you hear. What you see and what you hear can wear you down. It'll cause you to have a weary spirit. It would cause you to have a fatigued spirit. It would cause you to have a tiring spirit, a restless spirit. But I command that spirit of weariness to go in the name of Jesus. For I know who the Son set free. He's free indeed. Are you free today? Are you free today? Are you free today? Lord, I thank you for making me free. I thank you for making me free through your son, Jesus. I'm free through Jesus. I'm free through Jesus. Well, let's look at Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Don't faint. He said, let us not be weary in well-doing. Don't have the feeling that you're about to give up. Don't have the feeling of being tired or being fatigued. He said, let us not be weary in well-doing. So whatever you do, he said, let us not be weary in well-doing. He said, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Come on, continue to do good. Don't turn away from doing good. Don't be weary from well-doing, for doing good. Let us do good to all men, whether they're black, white, Chinese, Mexican. Let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are the household of faith. Come on, let us, let us, let us not be weary in well-doing. I thank God for in due season we shall reap. See, if you don't faint, if you, if you don't be impatient, in due season you shall reap. If we faint not, don't give up. Don't lose heart. Don't worry to the point that you end up doing nothing. And for the kingdom, that wearying spirit will block you in. That wearying spirit will stop you from doing the work of the ministry. Even Paul says, make full proof of your ministry. By doing the work of an evangelist. Come on. Don't be weary. Just wait on the Lord for direction. Wait on the Lord for direction. Matter of fact, the Bible says in Isaiah 40. In Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Come on. Maybe you just need your strength being renewed in this hour, that the time of refreshings will come upon you. He said, wait upon the Lord, and he shall renew your strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. Come on. You're going to run and not be weary. And while you're running, you won't be weary. And that means you won't get tired. You won't be fatigued, and they shall walk and not faint. They won't give up, even in the walking, in the spirit. They won't give up when they're running in the spirit. They won't get weary. They won't get tired. They can preach one day, two days, three days, four days, 20 days, 30 days, 50 days. They won't get tired. They won't get weary. I'm thanking God today. Hallelujah. 
I thank him that weariness got to go. It's not going to wear me down. That spirit of weariness got to go. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know that the, our labor, our labor, that which we are doing well doing, the things that we are doing good, in your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain. The devil will make you think that your labor is in vain. Well, if you are in outside of Christ, what you're doing is in vain. But if you know that you're in Christ, you know that it is him that lives inside of you, him that is moving inside of you. What you're doing is not in vain. So that spirit would come and wear you down. Have you looking at TV? It'll wear you down for all the things that are going on in the world. It'll wear you down. In James, James chapter 5. Let's turn to James chapter 5. James chapter 5, verse uh, 7 and 8. Be patient. Therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord, behold, the husband waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until ye receive the earthly and, I'm sorry, until you receive the early and latter rain, until you receive the early and latter rain. So God wants us to wait patiently. Be ye also patient, steadfast in your heart. For the coming of the Lord draweth near. So don't give up. Wait patiently on the Lord. Until you receive the early and the latter rain. He want the rain of the Lord to come upon you. He's going to do it by his spirit. Come on, come on, receive now. Receive the early and the latter rain. Receive it to cause the time of refreshings to come upon you. We rebuke weariness. We command weariness to go and receive the early and latter rain. Receive the Holy Ghost. Let it come upon you. Let it break off the spirit of weariness. Offer of your life in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese.